Welcome to Game Gods. Hi guys. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about um, the E3 press conference for Sony and going into a little bit more detail about, uh, you know, the different games there, what we thought of them, and what that means for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, why don't you start us out with, uh, you know, some of the games and, um, you know, that they were talking about. All right, we'll, we'll start from the beginning. Um, Uncharted 4 The Lost Legend. It's a new Uncharted game. Uh, it looks like you're playing as a female character this time instead of Nathan Drake, the guy. Uh, it looks kind of cool. It's based in India, which would explain the reason why they had the uh, band of Indian musicians um, opening their conference for them, which incidentally was actually really neat. Um, I thought the music was really well played. It sounded beautiful. And as th everything started coming up on the screen, it was just like, oh, I wonder what this could be for. And then they revealed it. And I was like, that is kind of cool. Like, the game itself looks really pretty. Um, what, what we saw of the gameplay, I don't know about you, but it definitely caught my interest because it's just like, well, it's this kind of typical, oh, I'm looking for something and I guess I have to go steal it. So they, they kind of seem to hold similar to the original Uncharted series. Um, but it was kind of cool as well that it was just like, she had companionship and there was definitely tension right off the bat. Like some of that gameplay, they were at each other's throats because, well, the second woman was not happy that secrets were being kept. I never played the original Uncharted games. Um, Me either, actually. But from what I remember seeing of it, either through YouTube clips or whatever, nah, there wasn't that much tension right off the bat. Like, every so often, maybe there might be a fight. But, like, this girl was trying to kill the main character, okay? This is the first game! <laughs> Um, so, I don't know, it does look kind of interesting, but like I said, I've never played any of the Uncharted, so maybe not for me. I liked the way it looked as far as the gameplay goes. It looked a lot like the, the original Uncharted's, mm. well, not necessarily the originals, but the Uncharted series with Nathan Drake. Uh, the way it played it reminded me of that. You definitely <laughs> would not mistake it for a Tomb Raider game, mm. even though they have a similar feel. Uh, the problem I had with it, the problem I had with it, right? And she, she's a girl, so she sees it from a different perspective. But I did not like that the, the female characters looked so guyish. They, they dressed like fucking Nathan Drake. No. Well, until one of them was in the sari. The sari? Yeah, like the, the, they're not called saris, but they're like the robes. They're not called sari. They're, Stop trying to use big words. Anyways. So they, they had like the, the khaki pants on and the, the, the Explorer green bluish shirt. Get the fuck out of here. Give me my Lara Croft and go home. I'm an advocate for hot chicks that kick ass. I want my Explorers to look like fucking Instagram models. Anime chicks, actually. Listen, let's, let's anime chicks. And I want them to kick ass and find loot. That's what I want. Give me old school Lara Croft if we're gonna be looking for shit. Don't give me some, some butch looking and Then it's chicks. just simply a Lara Croft game. It's not just as Lara Croft game, just because they look high. It, there's, it separates them If you're gonna make them look like her, you may as well just make it a game about her. No, no. <laughs> they don't have to look like her, they don't have to wear the exact same thing, but they need to be sexy. And these two girls are not sexy. They should have been in the Walmart checkout line, running up your groceries with those khaki pants. People of Walmart, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, whatever. <laughs> See, I tell you. But other than that, uh, it looked good. But I mean, it looked good because it's an Uncharted game and it had the Uncharted feel. But I, I can't say I was a fan of the, the two new girls, uh, even though I do like having female leads in games. I didn't like those two. Um, what about the next game? Uh, the next game is Days Gone, and it's a zombie game. So it looked OK. It looked interesting. Uh, when they showed more of it this year, it looked better than what they showed last year. OK. It caught our interest a little bit more, but at the same time, I, I don't know about you. Eh. 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 That's all I can say. Eh. Eh. <laughs> that's, that's about how I felt, too. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was just because it was a, a guy in a biker jacket just running around or or what, but it didn't feel the way I'm used to zombie games feeling. And for some people, that might be kind of refreshing for you. 
but uh, nothing made it stand out to me. We like running around with shotguns blasting zombie heads off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I also like the stealth element of zombie games, like The Last of Us. I like that too. So, I mean, this looks like it has some of the, the tension from The Last of Us games, but it also looks like it could be an arcade zombie shooter. <laughs> because the first time they showed it to us, he was like oh, he killing was thousands of fucking zombies. He was zombies. trying to get away from a horde of zombies that there was no horde. escape from. And he had all of these bullets that felt like almost unlimited ammo. Yeah. And this time it felt more Last of us story-driven, and yeah. like uh, environment. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know what the fuck they're doing. So I don't know if the first time they showed it to us, that's what I should have spent, or this time, this is what I should have spent. But I guess they're working on it and we'll know more uh, eventually. But I'm not excited yet. They might give me something to be excited for, but it hasn't happened. Yeah. So day's gone. Hope you end up good, but who knows? Uh, next up is Monster Hunter World, and uh, that one. We this think... is for those Nintendo fans. Out there. Yeah, we're, we're not sure if it's going to be an <laughs> MMO. I mean, Monster Hunter World, maybe. Maybe. They only showed one character, though. I'm and... thinking not because of that. Yeah. But it probably will be co-op, I would, I would Maybe. Imagine. I mean, at this point, we don't really know a whole lot aside from the fact that you're running around as one character but and you're killing monsters. But almost every game is co-op these days, so. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, um, mm -hmm. until they show us more characters or even just more in general, yeah. you're running around with a sword and you're killing stuff. But if you End like story. the Monster Hunter series, because Monster Hunter normally is like some 16-bit some stuff. So this is for you. If you're a Monster Hunter fan, even if it isn't the best Monster Hunter game or everybody expects it to be something that it doesn't end up being, this is your chance to get this shit in 1080p with super graphics and enjoy it in a different way than you've been playing Monster Hunter. So if you like Monster Hunter, you're probably gonna be super excited for this one. Yeah. All right, next one, neither uh -oh. of us, uh -oh. well, I don't know anything <laughs> about. Uh, Connecticut really doesn't like it. It's Shadow of the Colossus. I won't do any spoilers. But I will tell you that you have no business killing the Colossus. Bad. Bad gamer. Bad story. Don't make people do that. I'm not, therefore, I will, I will not play this. I will, I will not do it. I will not. So zero interest. <laughs> zero interest. They could have left this one. It's a remake. So they should have just left the original collecting dust somewhere. But you know, I, know, I know it's critically acclaimed and it has its own cult following. So some of you who have played the game will like it. But by today's standards, uh, I don't think people who haven't played the game, like the younger generation of gamers, are actually going to want to spend 60 bucks on it. So yeah, I'm anticipating flop, but I know <laughs> old school gamers who like the game will be happy to see it return. Okay, well, next one, it had the possibility of being the complete opposite of what Shadow Colossus was. It and could have been, been hype been hot. Yeah. It could have been super hype. But instead, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite <laughs> somehow... Got jacked up by rights. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. So, basically, the problem with Marvel vs. Capcom is that there aren't going to be any X-Men. No Wolverine. No Psylocke. N none of the coolest X-Men ever are going to be... No mutants. None of them. Okay? And that's because of the, the problem that Fox, I believe, or Marvel's having with who owns Getting what character. Getting rights back to the characters, yeah. yeah. So this game has been destroyed by corporate interest. You know? Sad now, face. I don't know if like the rights to Marvel characters couldn't be purchased or if the price to get them was just not something that uh, Capcom wanted to pay. But I'm, I'm disappointed in all parties involved. Like just don't even make the game if you can't have Wolverine there. <laughs> don't do it. We can't turn people into Swiss cheese. There ain't no point. Exactly. <laughs> All right, the last one that we're going to talk about before we get to the games that we're really excited about, everybody already knows about. Some of you may already be excited about it. Call of Duty. World War II. That's right. <laughs> w. A W. Dos. Dos. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I mean, I'll go first and I'll let you finish, uh, yeah, finish what sure. you have to say. Um, I'm interested and I'm excited, but I'm not overly excited because, as we know, Activision can fuck shit up super fast. <laughs> but this isn't going to be one of those jumpy, jetpacky games that they've been making. It's not going to be a Titanfall kind of thing. It's not going to be any of the recent Call of Duties. It's going to be shoelaces on the ground, and I'm excited for that. 
Uh, they even managed to put a red dot into a World War II game. I'm on board. Whatever on board. Battlefield does, Call of Duty will do too. Yes, <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy about that. Break the immersion and give me a red dot any day. Uh, but the graphics look better than any Call of Duty I've seen. They do. Uh, the gameplay remind me of the older school, maybe like uh, Modern Warfare 1 kind of thing. But the weapons definitely do not. <laughs> it's World War II, so what do you expect, you know, give and take. Yeah. Uh, I would have preferred something set in a modern period, so I could have had my uh, my M4 A1 ACRs <laughs> and stuff like that. But uh, this is good too. This is a step in the right direction. Everybody who downloaded the shit out of the trailer, making it the most disliked video game trailer ever for the the last release game they did. Good job, <laughs> because that over the years has built up the, uh, the the message that it's time to put the shoelaces back in the ground. So and not we'll see in space. what. Yeah, <laughs> and not in space. They literally took us to space. What the fuck? I mean, <laughs> what do you think? Of uh, it's another Call of Duty game. I'm not big on Call of Duty. I always like Halo better. Um, it looks good. I'm glad that they're taking it back to basics and not hippity hop <laughs> um, all over the place. But uh, hippity hop, this shit don't stop. Yeah, basically. I mean, I'm glad that they did <laughs> stop. But yeah. aside from that, I don't really have any thoughts. It does look really pretty. Um, mechanically, Call of Duty games have never really had that much of a problem. They've usually been pretty smooth, so I'm not worried yeah, about that definitely. even. It's just it's just nice that they're taking it back to well regular yes. Call of Duty and nothing hugely crazy. Call of Duty has always had excellent execution for their vision. Their vision is just sometimes horrible. A little bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, so the last thing that we'll mention as well is uh, VR games. VR games that is free! Everybody talked about them. They all had different offerings. Very good. If you're interested in the ones that Sony has um, talked about, then go check it out. They've probably got a list posted online. I think some of them are already out as well. Uh, out of the list, there were two that caught my eye. There was the Inpatient, which looked almost like... It made me think that it was like a VR version of Evil Within because it's set in like this weird hospital. Um, and looks interesting. And stuff went gradually, progressively wrong. So that was interesting, but it's VR and I'm not sure what I think about VR yet. The other one... I'm hyped for VR. <laughs> I just need games to deliver Actually the experience play. I want. Yeah. yeah. Well, this next one might. If we end up getting a headset or whatever, then I'm assuming I'll be the one to play through it first. But uh, Moss looked ridiculously cute. You're this little adventure mouse and you're running around with like this leaf bracer and a leaf sword and you're hacking stuff away. It just looks really cute it and does. fun. It looks fun. I don't think it's going to be like uh, something that sells VR. Mm -hmm. And I don't even think that VR is going to make it that great of an experience. But Probably not. the game, it looks so fun. It just, man. yeah, it, it looks really cute. cute. It, it, it made me so, feel yeah. like how Little Big Planet makes me feel. Oh. There you go. Warm fuzzies inside, okay? <laughs> you me so cute. No <laughs> Right. Well, talking about cute, let's talk about somebody that a lot of people like as well. Spider Man looked really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, what I liked about it was how the graphics looked how it made you feel like Spider-Man. And uh, for those of you who know me a little bit, you know that Spider-Man is not my favorite character. Uh, he's a little soft for me, you know? I like the Punisher, I like my Wolverines. But playing as Spider-Man, can you imagine just web slinging through the city? That shit has to be the highlight of your week, okay? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to playing as Spider-Man. Even though I don't like the character, playing as a character, that's an experience. And it looked like they really captured the essence of what it would feel like to play a Spider-Man. And not very many games really capture the feel of the situation or the character. Yeah. Sometimes you just kind of play as a character and go through the game. Yeah, that's it. But so far, it feels like you're Spider-Man. Yeah, all that and flying that, around, it's a little yes. hard to deny that. <laughs> yes, and the way, just the way the webs are used, the web slinging and the attacks and the fighting. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say they nailed it. I mean, I know we haven't seen very much of it yet, but every time they show this game, it Mind looks blown. good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to Spider-Man. Keep it up. Good job, PlayStation Nation. All right, next up is going to be Detroit Become Human. Actually caught both of our interest. Um, for me, it actually, it just looked really interesting because there were so many different choices and decisions that you could make. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of like, it was a new concept. Like, yeah, there are RPGs where, like Mass Effect, for instance, where the choices you make affect storyline further down the road. Mm -hmm. um, Detroit Become Human looks like it's going to be the same way, 
but it's just the scale Very on which they're trying to achieve this looks absolutely massive. It was like a heavy rain for you old school PlayStation gamers. It reminded me of that. And more recently, kind of a uh, Beyond Till Dawn feel where you're making a moment by moment decisions. And uh, the problem with that is I just don't know how, how much effort they're gonna put into it so that it can be a lengthy experience. Yeah. Because those games that I just mentioned are pretty short, you know? So I don't know, I mean, if they can make this a lengthy experience where you live in this universe for a little while, then that will be cool. And uh, no, 15 hours is not a lengthy experience. I need more. And I know- 20 plus. I know that they could do it, but I just know the effort will be yeah, would, would they can do it. It's serious. whether or not they will is the yeah. question. But so if they, we'll they do that, then <laughs> I will be totally on board to see how this adventure in this uh, futuristic setting plays out. That'd be cool. Yeah, super cool. Definitely. All right. Um, now on to the games that I was excited for. I actually really did like Destiny when it was out. Um, I enjoyed playing it quite a bit. Destiny, I know Connecticut yeah. didn't, but. For me, I, I thought it was pretty enjoyable. Um, it's a good Destiny, looking game. Yeah, Destiny 2 is going to be coming out as well. I uh, can't deny that I'm looking forward to that too. Uh, I think it's really cool that this time you're basically fighting back from like the brink of absolute destruction. Like, your city's destroyed. It's gone. Your home's demolished. You have to find somewhere safe and you have to find somewhere that you can basically just set everything back up again. But you're doing it with this massive army chasing you. So, so she likes the good tension. Luck. She likes the tension of the, of the yeah. game. Yeah. I would have been more happy if you could bring some of your gear from the last game or some of your stats or something over to show that uh, that you, you're, you're an, OG. an OG. Exactly, an OG. <laughs> yeah. And not start off at the base level with all these noobs coming in. I like it when games create a divide between OGs and noobs, you know? <laughs> That makes that creates loyalty, you know. When you're OG and the game's like, "Yes, son, you're an OG. Come on through. Come on in. Hey, hold up. You're a noob. Your noobs are over in that line." Then, as an OG, you feel like, "Damn, hell yeah, that's me." And as a noob, you're like, "Damn, I should have been on board before, but now I'm on board. So next time the next game comes out, you get I know to be what the OG." I can Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but, um, you know, Destiny in general is uh, not a bad game. It's just one of those games that is either for you or it isn't. I think Destiny executed what it wanted to do very good. And for those who enjoy that, then you should Pops be happy. You. Yeah, <laughs> you should be happy in Destiny 2. It's probably going to hit the nail right in the head for you. So Destiny 2 is something you should definitely look forward to if you like Destiny 1. All right, the next one, um, a lot of people were excited for it when they announced it last year. Uh, a lot of people are still excited for it. I enjoyed watching my brother play God of War through all three of them and constantly dying a God lot um, when I was younger. And then I actually really enjoyed playing them myself. And now there's, well, we all know that there's a new one where uh, Kratos has a son and he's gotten a bit older. Yeah. I, okay, I know Connecticut was a little unsure about how he felt because, you know, God of War is Kratos. So what's this kid doing? However, what they showed this year still looks really interesting. It looks like you get to play as both, or at the very least, Kratos still plays a major part in the game, a major storyline role. Um, he still kicks all sorts of ass. He's got this big ass axe instead of his Blades of Chaos. And, uh, at one point you see him at the end of the trailer like winging his axe into the middle of the ocean. Apparently it wakes up the world snake, which ends up being able to talk to his son, which yeah. looked kind of cool. It looks cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Cause again, graphically it looks beautiful and it's, it's got a war. That's, <laughs> that's all that really needs to be said. <laughs> one of the things I'll ask Sony is to make sure that this God of War game is longer than any of the others. Okay, because God of War is a fun ass adventure. It doesn't need to be one of those games that are so long that uh, you're waiting for it to end, but it does need to be long and so that you can enjoy the journey and want more of it. The other thing is, you better not kill off Kratos. Like, I don't want some crazy <laughs> thing where this kid is supposed to grow up to take his place. Fuck that. Keep Kratos. <laughs> the other thing I'm upset about is uh, he is looking a little older. For an immortal dude, how the fuck are you looking older? I think he lost his god powers, so that means that he's not immortal. He's just long lived now. I could be wrong, but yeah. 
long live. Well, they, they should have had a younger version of the long live Kratos because I don't like him looking older. He, he's gained weight, okay? He's not, not fat. He's not fat, but he's gained weight. He's, he's more square. You know, he, he, he doesn't hit the gym five, seven times a week anymore. More, now it's like four times a week. <laughs> this is four times a week gym Kratos. Before, it was seven times a week. I don't like it. I don't like it. Also, also, I, 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 I'm mad that, that he's not as pale as he should be. Well, where, where's the sawdust? Ashy stuff. He, he's not a ghost anymore. Oh, 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 oh. He, he is not a ghost. He, he is allowed to look a little more alive. I'm ready to see Casper Kratos. I'm, I'm mad at the new look. I don't Casper like the new Casper and Kratos. That would be an interesting combination. He, that's what he looked like before. I'm, I'm well, no, I'm just thinking attitude-wise. <laughs> Casper's so friendly. He's oh, a friendly ghost. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm upset at... at how he looks, the visual appearance. And I hear, I hear that the child is gonna have a dedicated button. What the fuck is that? Why is that little twerp getting a dedicated button on my controller? What is he's this? He's a playable character, that's why. I don't need no baby playing in a God of War game. What, who is next? You know how many kids Kratos ever has, probably has? Have you played the God of War well, game? Well, this one would be his second one. This one would probably be his 80th one. <laughs> Where are the other grown-up ones we could play as? I, I, I want to play as, uh, have one of Kratos' hot daughters come through. Let's, let's get that in the game. <laughs> All right, talking about females, the last game that I'm actually excited for is Wait, wait, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm mad about the weapons. You're mad about everything in the game, I but this am. wasn't about what you were mad about. This was about why I was excited for it. But now it's about what I'm mad about. Where's the, what, were they the Infinity Blades? Is that where they were called? Blades of Chaos. Blades of Chaos. Where's those motherfuckers? Do you remember the helicopter attack? Yeah, that's right. If you need a new God of War, hit me up, hit me up. But yeah, I want the Chaos Blade. Kill some bad motherfuckers. Please put it at least as a DLC item. You can cash shot the shit out of me with some Chaos Blades. <laughs> All right, what, what, are you, what are you excited for? <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, right, God of War, okay. You basically just destroyed it. Okay, last one that I was excited for, like I was saying before I was interrupted, was Horizon. I know it's already out. Um, this is the expansion, it's called The Frozen Wild. The game itself looked beautiful. I really want to play it, I still do. Um, same applies with this expansion. Chances are when I buy the game, I'll probably be buying the expansion as well so I can play through it after I finish definitely, the game. Definitely. That's about it. Horizon I mean, it just still looks, looks really, really beautiful. It yeah. still looks like a lot of fun and uh, I haven't heard a single bad thing about it so far yet. And it's been out for a little bit. Horizon is one of those games where uh, they should just probably make expansions all the way until they make Horizon 2. It, it looks fun. Every, everything about Horizon takes you on like an adventure, so that looks pretty cool. I'm glad they got a good expansion coming out. Hopefully it's a good expansion. It looks good. But uh, I mean, that's pretty much all Sony really had to offer. No new hardware. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't as exciting as Microsoft because Microsoft did have a lot more hardware. Uh, they also had, you know, they, they did pretty good in the games. But Sony did good this year as well. Sony always does good, at least. Mm. So uh, I'm expecting this year to be a really good year for games, whether you do Sony or Microsoft. Or even PC. Or even PC. Yes. Then, yeah, if you do PC, then you get the best of, like, both worlds in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, so no matter what you play, you should be, uh, you should be good to go. Mm -hmm. Definitely good to go. Yeah. So, if you like this video as well, then uh, just make sure you hit it in the face. And if you're new around here, subscribe to join Game Guides because we drop videos, videos every throughout week, the week. Throughout <laughs> the week. And on the weekends is when we generally upload our News of the Week segment so that you guys know all about the hottest game of news. You don't need to know about every little boring thing. Mm -hmm. So we take the stuff that matters and let you know what's happening. Okay, so hit that subscribe button, join Game Guides, hmm. and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Connecticut, Keone.